Back to Big Verbal Couch. Uh, as you've probably noticed, it is our final episode of the year, my very last episode. Uh, and wow, we are sitting on the couch, I'm sitting on the couch with three amazing ladies who you may not recognize off the bat, but these three ladies, including you, yes. have been my co hosts for Big Purple Couch over the years. Kate Hode Reddick was my uh, co host in first year. Uh, well, I was in second year. Ashley Rowe in third year, fourth year, Taylor Whittemore. So welcome to the three of you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Fantastic to be joined by all of us. I think it's great. <laughs> very bizarre for me. Very bizarre. But like what it, like Kate, you were just saying before we started that this is like you don't even recognize it really. But no, it does not. My, our first year, it did not look like this at all. First of all, we didn't have balloons. This is really exciting. <laughs> and the couch was not velvet in the first year. I'm really enjoying upgrade. the upgrade. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think the the velvet is my favorite part. Yeah. I, every time I'm on this couch, and I haven't been on it very often but <laughs> I love feeling it. That's I just get, I get addicted to just rubbing the couch. <laughs> oh that's that's cool. Oh, she, she really likes it. <laughs> well, we, we have a montage coming up later of, over the years and, yeah. and I like I did Big Purple Coach last year but like I hadn't realized even how much it changed from last year to Absolutely. this year. Yeah just in one it's year it's wild. been crazy. It's wild. The set, the logo, uh, when we think back to the first year that we did it like I think we spent half a year trying to get our first show going. Yeah, exactly. And it was really on the fly. Like, every single week, it would just be a whole new adventure, which was part of the magic of it, really. But, uh, yeah, I remember the cool thing is, is that in first year, all of your vision has really come true, which yeah. is really, really neat. Because I think you remember sort of what I was going for in first year, and this is yeah. finally it. This is it, which yeah. is really cool. I, I have to uh, compliment you, Phil, and, and to everyone that's been involved in Big Purple Coach over the years. In the first year, there were literally like three people that were involved with the Big Purple Couch. I think it, it was started, the three of us, actually. <laughs> it started, you were our political affairs reporter. Yeah, the year that, that yeah. Kate was I don't even know why we called me the political affairs reporter. <laughs> I think we were trying to find an excuse for me to be involved in the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it has d developed from a three-person little, little show to an absolutely huge uh, endeavor by the University Students Council, and it's definitely not going anywhere, so congratulations. No, that's for sure. Yes, congratulations, yeah, that's Phil. For this sure. is great. No, it's so exciting to have the three of you. So what would you say, like, in terms of, I guess, uh, to, to finish off, as the years come, we won't be here. You're, you're graduating fairly soon. And next year, Next yeah. year, you as well. Yeah. Um, I just think, I'm just wondering, should you clarify, like, it seems like you just whipped through the ladies. Like, would you like to... Uh... <laughs> I was trying to avoid that question. Can you please explain yourself? Yeah. Well, I'm high maintenance, and it, it so happens that the women can only handle me for one year at a time. So I like by to, the end well, of the that's year, true. That's time very, for true. very true. I'd like to ask you guys, because I don't know if you had the same issue, but I mean, I feel so lucky if I, get, if I get 10 seconds of goes. Phil's attention. Like, if I have more than 10 seconds, it's a good day. Because I will literally try and talk to him about something about the show, and then he tuned out. Did you have this issue? Oh, or yeah. has this been a recent development? Well, see, my biggest issue with Phil was... I really like to talk, and Phil also likes to talk. We're both attention hogs. And so when I was sitting where you are, I would continuously try to get my word in, and I would always try to be asking questions and telling my fun, well, what I thought were fun stories, and Phil would never care, and he would never want to hear it. Because so, you know why? Because he's probably thinking of what he yeah. to say next. So eventually I just sat back and I just let him run the show and talk and talk and talk because I was not getting a word in. Kate's going to stick have, up for me. I have the opposite, Phil. I'm going to stick up for you yes. because I was a scared little first year when I first did Purple Couch and you took very good care of me. You told me what to do, when to ask questions. I felt very taken care of. And the so. way we used to do it, I was watching footage back and we used to only do one we would interview someone, but you and I would take turns doing the interviews. We would never do them together like really? this. Really? One That's person at a time. Yeah, yeah we would. But we have, uh, we have since progressed. Uh, and you've done a phenomenal job. No, it's the help of well, you guys no. over the years. For sure it well, is. Uh, so I thank you. It's, it's still, uh, we've been talking for a couple of minutes, but the fact that all three of you are on the couch with me is very bizarre. <laughs> oh, very yeah. cool. It is very strange. Um, you guys have helped me out so much, so thank you guys personally. Uh, and thanks for getting cozy with us on the Big Purple Couch.